So today, I was thinking we could make a level um, from scratch. I'm going to start by, this is our sort of EGX stage area. It's nice. a level that's already existing. And um, we're going to kind of tear it apart and add a lot of our own elements and make a brand new sort of type of platforming yeah. level in here. So the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to need um, a character. So in our EGX collection, we have... Oh, so you just search for the collection that you've already got? And yeah, I've already done some pre preemptive searching so that we don't have to sort of filter through the, the assets quite so much. But people could do that themselves, right? When they've got the yeah. game, if they find stuff when they're searching, like, oh, I like that tree, I'll save it to my tree collection for future yeah. use. It's a good way to organize your stuff and organize things that you find that you like. Um, you can just stick it all in a collection and you've got it to hand very, very quickly. So this is um, one of our characters. I'm going to just pop in and... So you just switch from like Hello. build to play like that. Yeah. <laughs> You're so like this is amazing. How is that already brilliant? You can say hello. I think you can do some dance moves. Yeah. Oh, yes. The yes. running man. That is excellent. And like these. Um, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> wow. That's that's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, so those are just animations that people have made and they hook them up to buttons so that you can perform very sort of like emotive um, actions as your characters. So if you make, when you make a character, you can assign different animations to different buttons. You can make your own animations and assign them to different buttons. And so your character then, you know, moves in a certain way and acts in a certain <laughs> way. I like that one. Yeah, so this is our stage area. And what I was thinking we could do is we could have a race around the stage. Okay. And it's quite dark, and there's not a lot of stuff that's impeding my progress right now. So See, it's not the that's most what exciting we're going to spend run. 40 minutes doing, I think, is, is okay. making it a bit prettier and a bit more exciting to race around. Yeah, Dave is actually going to attempt to complete the course Am that I? we're yeah. going to we're build. We're going to let you play it. Whoa. I might have to I could have been sure prepared, it's... guys. <laughs> I didn't realize. That. I thought this was going to be very relaxing. I'm to be honest, this guy looks not dissimilar to me walking around the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the oh, first thing that we can do die. is we have some pre-made sort of like gameplay elements that you can stick down and um, and sort of to create a different type of a gameplay experience. So this is a race start, and I can stick that there. And we also need a race end. So if I go over here and grab some of these blocks, I'm going to start tearing it up and well, yeah, just just ah scale it up and stick that there. This is where we're going to end our race. And I'll find the race end. Let's do that there. So now I can't get to the race end from the race start. So okay. we have to create a path for our players. And when you go through this case. Nice. That's cool. And that was all just made by somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's gonna, there's going to be a little timer that's timing me. And oh, I can't yeah. finish oh, yeah. the race right now. <laughs> So let's fix that. See a problem with this course, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's a badly designed course right now. <laughs> um, so I think the first thing I want to do is clear out some of the assets that are going to get in the way. You just press triangle and they disappear. <laughs> and um, So you could do I'm this with anyone. If anyone's take, made a level and uploaded it, uh, you could just go and you could, you could dream surf to that level and actually play it and then yep. you could take it yourself and then pick apart the elements to own yeah and, and I think that's a very important part of learning how to create is by sort of remixing something that someone's already made and then um, just digging in and finding out how they've constructed it and maybe you remix it and you change some elements so that you make it your own but um, yeah we have to be sort of very open to people sharing assets and and um, swapping assets and learning from each other like that. So it's not necessarily cheating or copying, it's learning. Um, so I'm going to make some platforms up here that create a path. Just and simply using like a duplicate tool. The duplicate tool is really, really fun. So you can do that. Oh, nice. I love um, a shortcut. And you can do that too to sort of create steps. I'll show you some more of that in a minute. But first of all, we're going to make a couple of paths ramps up here and you can see that I'm being very messy with it they're not really lining up and what I can do is select them all and turn on physics Just turn on physics and they'll drop into place oh, and now yes. I don't have to be as neat you can be a little bit messier and then you can turn off physics and that's so cool 
they're good to go now. Um, so it gets quite dark over here, so I'm going to add some lights okay. and some other sort of visual elements that will help us guide the player through this course. So in here I've made some disco lights and oh, you stamp yes. them where you want the, the light to shine. <laughs> and I've made them in the media molecule colors because we're not allowed to use any other colors. <laughs> it's PlayStation, I know the feeling. Oh, yeah. My watching. world is Everything a very is blue. specific blue Pantone. <laughs> They're always watching. We have a blue light. This is the PlayStation light. <laughs> yeah, there is. In, so I've got some Pantone. disco lights. They're lighting up the floor now. And I can also put down some sort of decals. They're like arrows. And you can sort of stick them where on the floors and on the walls. <laughs> and that will help us guide the player through it's not a complicated course, but I just don't want anyone getting lost. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you're to be honest, uh, yeah, it is me doing it, so... <laughs> <laughs> you Anything's just put arrows I'm everywhere, that'd yeah. be great. We, 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 can cape the, we can cape <laughs> the place in arrows. It's quite fun to do. Um, if you, uh, just going back to uploading uh, levels and things you've made, can you, can you also kind of keep them pristine as if you make something you're like, oh yeah I don't want anybody to remix my level I just want them to enjoy it how I absolutely yeah I think we we have tools in place so that you can protect your creations if you're very precious about them yeah but we also sort of encourage people the default is uh, it's remixable but you absolutely can make sure that people can only play your level they can't remix yeah it. So that's yeah. cool we have to protect the creators um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to make a little obstacle that the player has to get make their way across so I'll line this up, and then I'm going to get the action recorder. And what the action recorder does is it records your controller's inputs. So oh, time is running. Run, I'll just pause that. And I'm going to place on a guide, which is going to help me move this um, accurately and smoothly. OK, so it's not just like freehand, because we've done like a platform moving before, and it was freehand that you could see it was wobbling. Yeah, so, so you this can is even slightly put that different. down to make it. Yeah, and it'll only start recording as soon as I start moving. So when I grab it, you'll see this bar at the top fill out red. So it's not like you have to stamp down the action recorder and quickly act like animate it. So as I do this, and it's going to animate now in a very sort of smooth motion. And I'm going to make it ping pong so I don't have to animate it coming back again. And you can see it's gone too far, so I can reduce its amplification. And I can just tweak that until I'm happy with it. And another thing, another thing you can do is you can pause when you're at the end of your animation and then line up this piece. So you don't <laughs> have to be neat. We're trying to be nice to the player and make sure they don't have to be neat. The ability to, to change things, you know, like yes. easily and just like make adjustments and oh, I did something a bit wrong there. But it's not like I have to do that again. I can just adjust it and fix it. Yeah, it's absolutely. Everything amazing. can be adjusted like after you've created it. And we can reduce the animation speed or make it faster if you're feeling really adventurous and we'll make a, a hell obstacle course. It's amazing because I've got some experience of kind of like, you know, high-end computer software for doing similar kinds of things like this. And redoing something like that, making those kinds of adjustments is often like a nightmare, you know? And yeah. you just think, oh God, I've, I've, I'm like 20 steps on and I've got to change all of that that I've made. We try to make it so that you don't have to remake things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, you don't have to, there's no destructive part of the creative process. Yeah, but you um, start again, you can just readjust yeah. things. Yeah. So a feature I wanted to show, because I think it's really powerful, is now that we've made that single animation on this object, if I duplicate it, they all animate. And not only do they animate, but they also, if I go around and I take off this guide, if I rotate it, they animate relative to their initial position. So nice. I'm going to use this to make a different type of gameplay challenge over here that's really, really, that's, so I've just done one techie thing and I'm going to repurpose it in like a bunch of different ways. So if I place that there, neaten it up. So for people who are watching, you know, you are just sat there going, oh, like, I'm really not that creative. I'm really not that talented. Like, what's in it for me? They can sort of be curators themselves. Yeah. Like, you could, you could just go into the, the library of things people have made, and you could be the person that makes the list of best trees. Here are all cool. of the pink platforms. Uh, so that other people can then go and find... 
I went into this collection, and these are all, this is like a toy box. Yeah. These are all things that you might have seen if you've been playing the game on the show floor. You can play through um, a level that you might, have, you might recognize a lot of these elements from. Mm. And we give them to you so that you can just grab it and stick it down and it's, it's yours to play with. And again, if you want to find out how we made it, you tunnel in and you sort of explore the, yeah. the mechanics, the guts of the object. Um, so where are we up to now? We've got, we're almost round the course. We've done three sides of this course. And I think what I'm going to do here is demonstrate the clone tool. So here, I'm just going to make a big path to the exit. <laughs> and you can, you can rotate things whilst you're in clone and they'll interpolate between the two. So you can make nice, bendy, curvy paths. You can see like, it's so tactile as well, yeah. like, like with the DualShock, the way that it uses the motion controls and things. You, yeah. You're sort of really doing it, do you know what I mean? Rather than kind of like with a mouse and a keyboard pointing at things and, and it, you're having to move the camera and then, you know, it's all really tactile and sort of, it looks like it must feel quite natural. And it gets even more intuitive and more tactile if you, because it's compatible with the moves. Yeah. And with the moves, you've got one-to-one -one precision between sort of where your hands are and where the objects are in the game. Right. And that really helps, because if you've ever used a 3D package, you are t essentially using a 2D interface to make a 3D space, yeah. which is <laughs> tricky. Sounds a bit You're backwards. missing a whole dimension. Yeah. So like with the move controllers, you can literally sculpt, and it's, it feels like the clay's in your hands. It's really, yeah. really nice. All right, so I need some more arrows. I'm, I'm going to really spend do, most yeah. of the stream putting arrows down. <laughs> um, and then another gameplay element that I think will add like an obstacle. So this is the final stretch. Okay. So we're gonna make, yeah. it make obstacles for days. It's going to be exciting I'm add these at this point. Terrifyingly cute spiders. Oh my god! That's I actually spider. hate spiders. That's a spider. So, you know. <laughs> and so. what they do is um, when the player gets near to them, so they they're up in the sky right now waiting to pounce on you. And when you get near to them, they're going to jump down and swing like pendulum style and you have yeah. to dodge them. I didn't agree to this. That's this is probably, yeah, we might have what, like, some death there. It could go wrong. It could go wrong there. I'm going to put in some, some little hover pads because if you fall off these platforms, we don't want to restart the race. I've just placed it too high. There, I'll place one there. But you can program in things like hit points as well. So like you can program in how many points of damage a character has and how oh, many yeah. the spider might give you if you get hit by the spider. Yeah, I could make it that the spiders just damage you when they don't kill you. Yeah. But we haven't got time for that, so they're going to kill you. So they're going to kill you. Yeah. It's just a friendly race, isn't it? It's a friendly race. It's a friendly race. I yeah. don't feel like I haven't quite sold you on what you were doing on stage. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to play Dreams later. We're going to make a cute little race course and you're going to run around it. Yeah. Here we are. Oh, and there's going to be spiders. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize. Are, we have tried to make them as cute as we could. <laughs> yeah, the molecule yeah. spiders. The spiders go, and uh, they're not bad. A bit bulbous. So we have made a course, and I think we can do... There's quite a few other things that we can add to this course to make it really exciting. Um, one of the areas I wanted to spend a little bit of time in was the audio tool. Because yes. you notice when we started the race before, I can demonstrate this. We start the race, and it doesn't feel as intense as we want it to feel. Right. But if we make some music, we can make it occur just when you're racing. Right, yeah. So you wouldn't know you're racing right now. So we're going to make some some exciting music to play to race along to. This music mode is unreal. So this is a timeline. This is where we're going to this is basically our music canvas. We're going to put a lot of our music bits onto this. And I'm going to open and it up. That doesn't actually appear in the level, is it? That's just like a sort of on-screen thing. Yeah, yeah. Mode. So all the logic is not visible in game. Yeah. But we're in edit mode at the moment, so we can see it. So when you when you search for things to place into your music level, you could search an instrument, and that is the most sort of like deep side of music creation. Yeah. Or you could search for sound effects, and that's a little bit more simple. Or you can search for music clips. So in the same way that I placed down that flower, that bounce pad flower, that is just a a pre-made, ready-to-go, plug-and-play yep. bit of um, gameplay. You can do the same for music as well. Nice. So we're going to go into here, and these are building blocks. So it's again, it's meant to feel like a, a, a sort of a toy box of creative assets that you can collage together, and then um, you can get as deep as you want to. So these are drum loops. It's quite hard to hear these, but I. We can place down some drums to start with. So when you're browsing them, you can hear all of the different beats. 
Um, and then next, I'm going to get some bass loops. Um, Ooh, that sounds tense. Again, these are all the pre-made ones that like you could make that that like the first track with all the little, you could make that yourself from scratch. Yeah, like, yeah. It's it's ridiculous. What about That's important good, sounds like? Do you like that it's one? Got a good vibe. Yeah. Right. So when you were saying that you can make this stuff yourself, it's it's probably worth showing. So you can tunnel into this in the same way that I was saying you could tunnel into an asset. Yeah. So it's pre-made and you can stamp down and find out how it's made. Yeah. We can do the same stuff in here. So wow. this is the piano roll of this piece of music. And you can go in and you can change it. You can delete this bit, move the, this bit down here, and add on bits that you like. And then you hit play. Oh, we're a few bars in. You can yeah. see it reaching that yellow block there. Cool. So you can you can learn music sort of like from from the very easy end and start tunneling in. And if you feel a bit uncomfortable, tunnel out and start just sort of stamping down pre-made assets. Or if you're feeling really adventurous, go in. And I think that's a, it's very much the sort of mentality we want to in, empower people to experiment and learn about how these things are made. And it's just all it's about. It's absolutely crazy. Like I said, there are whole bits of software that just ju do just that. Yeah. yeah. You know, that, like, that's all they would do. And that is just one little part of it's dreams. Really it's absolutely crazy. And this stuff, sometimes it looks a bit intimidating, but it's worth mentioning that, like, the music side of things is not my area of expertise. And I've just been toying with it a little bit, yeah. like, um, in, the, like, the past couple of days. And now I feel confident enough that we could sort of, like, jam a bit and, like, make some music. It might be terrible music, okay. but <laughs> we're going to do it. Um, yeah, so let's place down the Tron Ocarina. I just love the name of that. Maybe something like this. I don't know. So this feels a bit more uh, racy. Yeah. This is tense. This is a tense race. It's really intense. You can stretch these out a bit. And so that's just looping the sounds. Yeah. When you see it as a sort of a faded version of it, it's going to loop the sound. And then we need some melody, I think. We need some... It's amazing. I like... Yeah. Uh, we need an instrument. And uh, just like any other asset in the game, you, you know, these are things that people can make and upload and then other people can take down the little bits of it. Yeah. Rearrange it. You could make an instrument, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then you could publish that instrument and people could sort of open up this instrument and start playing on it. Oh, wow. And so these are effects fields. And so what it is is um, I'm pressing, if you can see my, my eight buttons there, yeah. I'm mapped to notes in a scale. Yeah. I'm going to get all the technical bits of this music jargon wrong. And um, <laughs> But so, so these are, I'm playing lots of different notes here. And when I move into an effects field, that's like a modifier on top of my note, so yeah. it could sound completely different. And as I move between these fields, it sounds nice and different. And then I can hit play and start playing along to the music. So clever. It's just, it's, it is, it's an entire piece of like audio editing software. And like, it's like a performance, like this is quite cool to watch, you know, like, <laughs> and this is supposed to be kind of like the back end. This is the sausage being made, yeah. <laughs> which you're not usually supposed to see. <laughs> um, so when you're happy with what you've made, you can start recording. And you see the little strokes that I'm making? Yeah. These are recorded. Sorry, I wasn't able to talk and That's play okay. at the it's same right. time there. So it records them as it records your strokes. And then when you see it playing, they sort oh, of spread wow. out. So you've got so this I linear love that. that I love. And, um, and then you see our sort of our movements moving through the sort of the field, which is the present time. Yeah. As soon as tools get into time and temporal stuff, it just looks so trippy and confusing. That's so smart. And does that mean that you can make adjustments to something like that? Like that's from yeah, so once you've made you them, you can just go straight into the piano roll, and these are all the notes I've made in a more technical view. Yeah. 
but it's prettier to see it like this even if it makes no sense. Oh, I may have just changed this, the key. Let's see. No, it seems okay. <laughs> so, so All right. Great. So, do you want to? Um, would Would you guys like to have a go at making some music? Definitely. Okay. Cool. The answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. So, when you're ready. Yeah. If you want to play around, you can press all the face buttons now. Ooh. Hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I've already I've already gone wrong. There you go. Thank so you. press the D-pad buttons and the face buttons on that screen, and you can hear your music. And as you move into the different fields, you'll hear different parts of the music. You're making music, Dave. I'm doing it. And then when you feel happy with your performance, you can you can record it and I'll set that up for you as well. Okay, let's do it. Alright. It's gonna be quite subtle, I think, my performance. Is that what you're gonna oh, go yeah, for? Oh yeah, you're gonna go for subtle. You I'm don't gonna go normally just a few go for notes, subtle, putting that you know. out there. Alright, so when you're ready, yeah. press both the thumbsticks in at the same time. Okay. And the music will start. And then you can press the face buttons to make your music. I'm going for a, a deliberate it's deliberate. I thought you were writing something with a stroke. <laughs> I was worried you were going to draw something by <laughs> No. <laughs> and is it both thumbsticks to start? Uh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yay, I mean, Dave, it's something. Well it's something. Wow, music. thank you. Yeah. I mean, it really That's your stream was very easy on my part. So. But that is, it's a really nice way of showing how accessible and playful these tools are. They are deep and they are powerful, but we want people to learn by playing. So, so that is our music. It's so clever be because if you are a musician and you know about music, like the notes are literally there, you can, you know, if you understand keys and things, you can, you've got that, that power to adjust those things and know what you're doing. Or if you just have no idea, it's so simple to immediately make some sounds and just play around with it and, yeah. and make something that is actually really nice to listen to. And I think another tool that will be fun to um, demonstrate is, where would I find this? Yeah, here, you've also got a sound recorder, so you can record sounds from your PlayStation camera microphone into the game. So I think because it's a race, we can either get people to clap and cheer as you complete your race. Yeah. Do you think that would be a good idea? Well, I'd try really that? Like, it would make me yeah. feel good. So we're all going to clap and cheer when we're ready and we're going to record it. We've yeah. got a PlayStation camera here. So. so if we count you in, we say three, two, one, then everyone claps and cheers and everyone will think we've done something really impressive. Yeah. But really, we're just recording you. Okay. Imagine I've just won the race. Yeah. It's very, this so all no get booing. in the zone. Yes, no booing. No, come on. Okay. It's a three, big thing. Three, two, one. I cut that off too early, so it's, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna ask everyone to do it again. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> so that's everyone cheering. I'm very excited to hear you. this. Yeah. That's so. You cool. could keep that forever and play it whenever you're that. feeling yeah, down. Yeah, can I just have that on my phone? <laughs> or not? <laughs> <laughs> so we could take this over here. And we can not, not over here. <laughs> the depths of Spagta, yeah, That's not into the Cosmos. I'm just going to move it back to where we first made it. Yeah, so we can take it over here, and the the, the music that we made, I hooked up to the the start gate, and this one I'm going to hook up to the end gate, and it's literally you don't need to know anything about logic. You are just taking this output that says complete, so you finish the race, and you plug it into there. And we just need to, yeah, that play once, and so wait, that's fine. So that's okay. it, that'll now just trigger. Yeah, that'll trigger when you finish the race. Um, and another thing that we could do to sort of make you feel like you've really accomplished something when you finish yeah. the race is we can show some uh, of the, the paint tools so we can make a, a firework that explodes when you, when you um, yeah, let's complete the that. race. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That sounds about right. So I'm just painting a simple stroke there. And then I'm going to tunnel into it, and I'm going to make some adjustments to the stroke okay. to make it look like a firework. So the first thing to do to everything is always make it glow. Yeah. And um, obviously. And we can change its color, and now uh, it's going to glow pink. I could have guessed. I could have guessed. We could have gone for <laughs> orange, 
but I'm going to go for pink. No, and I'm then, just happy to feel you. Yeah. And then over here, we've got the clone tool. I love like that it's the sheep. Yeah. <laughs> the clone tool is a sheep. Oh, yeah. Dolly. Good old Dolly. Yeah. And so, so I'm going to make it, I'm going to duplicate it in all directions so it's going to explode outwards. But you can do other things. You could sort of, you can make it duplicate around the camera. And that was how you would make something like um, rain, for yeah. example. And then you'd have the same, you'd paint one rain stroke and it would duplicate everywhere. Nice. Um, we can make a couple more and we can make them scatter, we can scatter their size. And then the important part is we're going to make it animate. And that's not the animation tool, this is. OK, cool. So if I hit play, you can see it's moving really slowly. I just ramp that up until I'm happy. And then we can make it pulse. So mad. And there's a couple of little nice things that we can do here. So we can add gravity so it curves down like a yeah. firework. That's so cool. And this has all come out of one line. Yeah, so we <laughs> painted one line. And you could go in and change that line, and it would change your whole yeah. firework. So you could make a squiggly line, and then every single one of these lines would be squiggly, and things like that. Like. Um, and now that we've made that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone it a couple of times. And we can change the colors of each of them so that we've got like a, a variety of different fireworks. In fact, for the last one, I think we can do something really interesting. So before we use the action controller, and I said that the action controller records your, mo your controller inputs. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do in here is my controller inputs is just going to scroll around the color wheel. Oh, wow. And if I set that to looping, it is looping. You can see that that firework is now changing color yeah. as we go. And the other ones are just viewing out their own color. Doing their thing. Doing their thing. <laughs> and then if I grab the complete sign, the complete signal, and I just hook it up to these fireworks, then they will turn on when you finish your race. Huh. So you're just pressing the power button. Put them to sleep. Yeah, the power okay. turns things on. And okay, and then I've got some fireworks sounds that um, I thought might accompany that explosions. Again, someone could just be nice. do a curator and just curate explosion or noises I, like you've done here. Someone's, yeah. someone I, I has firework sounds. Yeah, <laughs> that's my thing. Someone's made a really nice collection of sizzly, poppy firework sounds. I put a couple of them down, and so you can see I'm not necessarily being very neat here, but we're just going to plug. Where did they go? Ah, oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> Lost my sounds. We can turn them on. OK, cool. I think we're ready. I don't um, know if I'm ready. I'm we excited. <laughs> Shall I do a test run to make sure it's possible? I think no. that would be best. No, oh, okay. well, I don't know. Sh or, or I could no, just... No, that would like, be a guinea pig. That was my game designer in me. I was like, I need to check that this is possible <laughs> yeah. before what I give it to you. Test it. And then I was like, that's a bit anticlimactic if I steal your thunder. So Yeah, it does work. I'll show you a little bit about this character first. This is That'll Debug. You might have seen Debug before. Yeah. Yeah. Debug's got some special powers. So if you jump and hold down and press the button again, yeah. she's got a little double jump. And if you hold it down, she hovers down, so she floats down. So that nice. might make some of the, the platforming very easy. Yeah. And she's also got a charge shot. So she can charge up if you hold R2. Yeah. She charges up really hard and then throws out like electrical sort of charges. I think that might be useful against spiders. And you can break all of the TVs with it. Wow. And you can sort of kind of trash the the, the area by She's sort of... She's way like, more dangerous than I was giving her credit Yeah, for. she looks cute and cuddly, and she is She's a small, fireball. but she attack. Okay. Do you want to have a go? I do, yeah. Very much so. Right, okay. we believe in you, Dave. Thank you, Holly. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to destroy working. everything. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't. That's, Look, this that's arrow was very helpful. Yeah. Oh, my first test. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. You've got to jump on that flower. Ace. 
It is actually tent. We've made two tents of music. Is it two tents? Oh no. Spiders. And the spiders have popped down. Get away, spiders. I just want fireworks and cheering. <laughs> yes. In the real life now as Thank well. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Very undeserved by me there. That was expertly played, I have Thank to say. You. Yeah. <laughs> That's I'm glad I gave it to you. Amazing. Now. You did better than I would have. <laughs> it was a bit touch and go, I must admit. There was some, <laughs> some of that platforming. I was nervous that I wouldn't hear the, the cheers. But, yeah, um, I'm glad Debug has a, a, a hover ability. Yes, yeah, me too. <laughs> Hard mode would be playing it with um, the dancing orange. <laughs> she she the didn't have any. That no, no, yeah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> but that's absolutely amazing. I mean, I can't believe. Um, how much we've managed to change this level and actually create... Well, it was just a scene before, wasn't it? It was basically yeah. just a stage. It yeah. was just a, a, an inanimate thing. And yeah. you've created a whole racetrack out of it with music and um, New obstacles, things that are animating, things that trigger when you start and end. Did I get a time? I didn't check my time, you know. You, your time is, is it up there? there. Yeah. Let's have a look. I mean, it's, the competitor in me needs to know. Okay. 29 Do you want to try and beat that, Holly? No. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to try and beat it? We can try and beat it. I, mean, I don't, don't think I'm going to, you know. <laughs> I think it's a very good try. And I'm trail. going be, to stand. That'll be if great. I don't take part, then I can continue to judge you without. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm here for so 29.6, was it? 29.6, 29. yeah, I'll remember. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, try not to get too worried about the very, very tense music we've made. I think it is a bit too tense. It's no, it's it is. setting the tone. We should have tested it. I like the it. drums though. The drums are what makes it. Oh, you were you've you've been way it's less the spiders, cautious though. than I me. I could still die here. Ah. Oh. Oh. You win. <laughs> Did you see that? So right, rewind. I think yeah. I so think, I think you've you've won now. I've won. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Don't worry, I'll take it. I mean, I think that was very very nice of you. <laughs> At least that shows that when you got past those spiders, this I, isn't this isn't a hollow threat. Yeah. You literally risk your life and you beat the race. Well, that, I've been saying that about spiders for years. <laughs> they, they are a real danger to my well-being. People don't seem to appreciate that. I'm not going to be able to beat this, am I? <laughs> oh, the spiders. One more, one know, more yeah, go. One just... more go. I mean, the time looks good, but those spiders are... Um, they are not ego. forgiving. The yeah, arrows you, are very You helpful. can program all of that. Like, how much damage the spiders do... I, I should have programmed it's how much crazy. damage the spiders do and made them less. Program them to give you a hug. Uh, yeah. Nice. He's three. Enjoy that yeah. applause. And the time doesn't matter because I died <laughs> twice. No, thank Real you applause so in much. the room as well. Cool. I'm, it's always nice to just keep seeing different demos and different demos. I think for a lot of people, it's still a, a lot to wrap your head around because people can't believe that you're literally going to give them a game engine and just be like, yeah. here, you, you know, you can make it. If you can dream it, we can, we've given you the tools to make it reality. And if you're worried, you know, here are some pre-made tools that will help you make everything yeah. a reality. I think that's a very important step because we know that the tools are, are powerful and the, the really hardcore creators are going to just dive straight in there and like make some incredible stuff. But I think an important part of it is the people that pick up the game because they want to play through the story mode and don't feel like they're necessarily like going to be very good at creating. So we definitely want to make sure that it's very clear that they can dive into our levels, take out bits that they're curious about, remix them, make their own levels. Yeah. They can they can sort of tunnel into these assets and see how they're made and start to learn at their own pace. And it is a very, very accessible thing. So, so when I was placing these assets that are pre-made, you'll notice that I've got guides on them to help me stamp them down so that they're yeah. always in the right place. And, um, but the guides are just a gadget that you place on that asset. And here is the guides option here. And if I turn that off, then I can pick it up and I can rotate <laughs> it and do all the silly things. So you've got the control where you want it and you've got um, sort of help where you want it as well. So yeah, we're just really, really excited to see what people make with it. It seems like, you know, the, uh, you can't break it. Like people, who I think, worry about breaking stuff. I'm like, oh, I don't want to experiment. No, no, yeah, and then, yeah. you know, it's like everything is going to be fine. Yes. And if you yeah. worry, like you say, people, you know, maybe you've got great ideas for mechanics, but you are, you can't build a world at all. But you can meet somebody who's only good at build world building. Yeah. Or, yeah. or yeah. building just a character or just a particular. They like making chairs. 
So you yes. could chairs. Just chairs. Yeah, you know, there are there are a lot of people that like to make chairs yeah. in the studio. And yeah, so you can source other creators and sort of say, do you want to collaborate on a project? Yeah. I'm really good at the music. Would you like to make uh, the art? Or you can just browse the libraries of things that people have already made and use their, their items. And those artists that you use the assets of, they'll be credited when you sort of publish your work. Yeah. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah, yeah. That's so all really credit important. is always given to the right Absolutely, artists. Absolutely, yeah. It's very important to protect like the creator's sort of like um, work, I so think. So what happens if you remix something that someone's made then? So that makes a version of it that is yours. Okay. And so you can tunnel in and you don't change the original version. You're remixing it, so you're making a new version of it that you can tinker with and experiment with and Perfect. learn from. That's amazing. Thank you so much Ooh. for joining us. I, this, I'm always happy when I see dreams. And I knew I had to make sure Dave was here as well, because no, this, is, this has really away. been your baby. It blows, blows me away. I really, really can't wait to play dreams, basically. Thank you. I had a little go today, and that's very exciting. But now I just <laughs> want more, to be honest. So. Um, Please do, you know, head back to the studio right yeah. now. <laughs> we'll we'll come and join you at the studio. The Media Molecule studio is amazing. It's exactly what you think it would be. It is, they are the people that make all the games we love and the studio environment is very similar. So it's my favorite place to go. <laughs> thank you so Thanks much too. for coming up, Peter, and showing us. Cool, um, thank you very much for having us. It's the problem great. with a, a thing like this is we could spend hours just changing and changing and making I was, yeah. And, uh, when no it finished, I saw there was five minutes left and I was like, we could make some more things. We could do some more. Yeah. Things. What should we but, do? Yeah. Should we make a thing? Should we make a thing? Yeah. We could make a thing. So we'll, t we'll make a thing from scratch. We'll okay. make um, or create an object. So this is the sculpt mode. So this is the very, very sort of granular, I'm going to control every single atom of this object. Yeah. And I'm going to stamp down some spheres. And I'm going to make a balloon. So what I'm going to do here is I need to soft blend these two spheres together to make a sort of balloon shape. That's so clever. So that's kind of cool. And I'll stamp that in place. And then the next bit of the balloon, it's just going to be three sculpts. It's going to make it really simple. It's going to be the this little bit that you can attention to detail here. Uh, yeah. We can't leave it out. Otherwise, yeah. people will just think it's a wonky ball. Exactly. What's that weird blue Yeah. So there you go. There's nice. our balloon. And an important part of making things look um, how you want them to is um, the material. So we're going to make a red balloon. Yeah. It's like a whoopee cushion. It's a whoopee cushion right now. And then, um, <laughs> but it's not got that plastic sheen on it that balloons have. So this is the, the materials page. And you've got shininess and roughness. Oh, nice. You can make oh, it really shiny. So cool. yeah, well, we want it to be plasticky, so that's about there. And metallic or, or waxiness. And if things are waxy, then the light yeah. shines through them really nicely. That's so, oh, like, that's the way you've just moved it back a little bit. Yeah, and into the light. We put some disco lights down here, and then it'll be much easier to see um, how pretty these things. Can I said, we'll just drop a disco light in. And yeah. you can go and grab <laughs> a disco light. light. Where's my uh, disco light folder? And um, but the but right now it's not going to act like a balloon when we press play. So what we can do is we can change its physical properties so that it's going to act like a balloon. So if I go into this page, the physics page, we definitely want it to be movable. And we want it to be grabbable so I can grab it as the M. And then if I get rid of these characters, then they won't. I can go into play mode. And then we can make it ignore gravity. And then these are my favorite. You can make it bouncy and you can make it really squidgy. <laughs> and what happens now is. <laughs> That's so mad. I'm going to enter play mode so I can do it properly. You've made a balloon the most exciting thing I've ever seen. <laughs> It's really. <laughs> like you just made it. It's just made it. Put it back it into like the I mean, this is the game right here. Yeah. This is. Forget the race. Yippee yuppie. Just give me a balloon. <laughs> I'm just gonna play with. This yeah. I mean. Bit. <laughs> it's gonna. Be, I just love the squidge when it bounces. Bouncing. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. And it wobbles. That, it looks like a water balloon, to be honest. I mean, I know you really know what you're doing, but that took about two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so I was uh, to make the best thing in the game. And you could do the same thing <laughs> where if we just sit that stick down like an emitter, we can make like a little balloon party really quickly. And this is going to um, throw balloons everywhere. Yes. Just gonna throw balloons. We're really on the same page right now. Face it down to the ground, and then. How can I find a balloon emitter? 
There's got to be one somewhere. We're having a party. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do the, so that is all referencing this one object. So you can do the really funny things that we were doing with the, um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to make and talk at the same time. It turns out I'm not good at that. It's um, really that hard <laughs> to play games and, uh, and talk. So the thing that we did with the, um, the firework, where we made it change color all the time, yeah. you can do that to the balloon as well. But you're emitting them. So if I click on this and then say record, and then rotate around the color wheel. Quite oh, so obviously it's then the color of the one. Like that main one is changing, so it's spitting out whatever color it's on. Yeah, so we're spitting out all sorts of colors of balloons now. That's amazing. And we've just made one thing and all different colored and balloons. And now we've got a balloon that one party. Balloon. Yeah. I need to find my character so we can run around in this balloon party. I'm genuinely just completely spellbound by these balloons. <laughs> and you can push them around. E it's not very... Not, does not like balloons. I wouldn't say it's the most directed game. I don't really know what the point of this little balloon party is. I want the music. We'll figure actually. it out, don't worry. Put the music back on and then we could just hang out in balloon party world. Yeah. A very tense balloon party. There it's like go. quite a cool club now. I mean, that, that says a lot about me. Like it's, it's, balloon yeah. and by yourself. The visuals cool club, but... and the yeah. music are not lining <laughs> up. Uh, you're like, this is intense. <laughs> Actually, there's just coloured balloons floating everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. So you can make whatever you want. And this is what I wanted to make. Yes. I mean, <laughs> what else is there? I don't know. I don't know. This guy's a bit... I think we'll find at out. The same time. Was the balloons come out? That we is make, amazing. We can make the cheer by doing that. Yeah. There we go. This is where we want to be. Yeah. I feel right at home. With our fireworks. Well, I think we are going to have to draw it to an end, Holly. We could do this literally all day. Yeah, the rest I mean, of the day now, it's like, there let's is no make end. a banana. <laughs> <laughs> But it like, has balloon properties. Banana balloon. <laughs> yeah. right? We can make a banana that bounces like a balloon. Uh, yeah, but we haven't got time. Exactly. No, we, we really haven't got to stop you somewhere. Thousands of them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you very, very much for joining us. Thank you for us. having us. Uh, I, guys, a big round of applause because that was incredible. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it just blows my mind. It's really hard to explain. I'm glad everybody's got to watch and it just is hard to explain. try and open their minds to the possibilities because they really are kind of endless. Yeah, we've been demoing um, a lot of the content that the creators back at the studio have been making yeah. at the booth around the corner. And half the people know what it is and they've been following us for a while and they don't need any explanation. And a lot of people see it and they're like, why are there five different games yeah. <laughs> to do with one game? And I'm like, well, actually, we give away the tools that we use to make this game, and everything you see has been made with a DS4 controller, a PlayStation controller. And, um, and so that's the sort of thing that binds them all together, is the creation tool. And they can't believe that you've made everything, yeah. all the di diverse amount of games that are on display uh, using a tool set and also using a, just a PlayStation controller. That's right, because it's not like this is really good for making one particular kind of game. No, no. It's, oh, like, it's, yeah. it's like I've seen sort of like first person games. Yeah. Like platformers yeah. And There's all a kinds. point and click. We did some dream surfing. There was like a really old school point and click, yeah. uh, like a text based adventure. There's a text adventure there. There's a flying game. There's, oh, like there's literally like 2D dog games, fighting 3D space. games. Yes, yeah. yeah, it was. It's amazing. And, yeah, and it's there's more of the amazing. studio as well. It's just like that's what we have to show at the moment. So yeah, and then, and then when it gets out to the public, they're just gonna put us to shame and make everything. Yeah, can't they, wait. that's what they do. Yeah, that's what they and do. And we were excited for it. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.